Good morning. This is Kevin Hooker with Ward Reality Services, and today Tom Jenkins with Mold Solutions has stopped by the office to talk to us about how you get rid of odors and mold and He's going to explain that process to us, so Tom, tell us about it. Okay. Well, I think a minute ago you would ask me, um, what all do I do? So, well, I just, you know, I, I got into the business, like I was mentioning to you about 16 years ago, um, and and what had happened, maybe longer than that, what had happened is I got into, like we were talking about odors before mm -hmm. we, before when I got here, and, and my family had an odor situation, it was a cat urine odor, like we were talking about. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, but anyway, the, the house was uh, you know unsellable at that point, and I think my my dad had, uh, was looking to sell it, mm -hmm. and um, and nobody would want to buy it at that point. So right. uh, he found ozone to treat it, okay. and I thought it would be it's something good to get into because you're helping people. And then I I got in from that end, and then I started uh, and then I started uh, treating mold after that. I found out it was very effective on on mold as well. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've been in business for, like I said, over 16 years. I'm certified, insured. I'm very reasonable on the price, um, not only on, on the mold, like the mold remediation, like we were talking about, but also on the odor removal, like uh, pet odors, cat urine, dog urine smells. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the one I was just uh, at in uh, Elizabeth, uh, Indiana, it had a uh, pink human odor. It was an older person there that uh, maybe had an accident or something. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have a younger couple moving in, so I was praying for that. So so the, the urine smells, the, the pet odors, the things that keep people away from right, from your house. Yeah, I we all, we've encountered it. Yeah. You're out showing a house, walk in and bam. Yeah, yeah. it's the first thing to hit you. Right. Um, and, and then I've added power washing since that. So they all seem to go together. Yeah. And, um, and I, you know, to be honest with you, one of my value adds to, to realtors is that I don't charge anything to go out and look at a mold situation. And I've been doing a lot of mold situations mm -hmm. lately, I guess because of all the rain we've been having. Yeah. But, um, so, um, I'm in crawl spaces all the time. In fact, I've got one after this. Okay. And I'm going to, I think on uh, Albany Street. And it is a, uh, but I'm, I don't charge anything to go out and take a look at a mold situation. And it, and to be honest with you, people tend to freak out a little bit when you sure. mention the word mold. Yeah. And yeah, it can, it can, it can make or break. It can. It, where the purchase of a home goes through or not. Yeah. Because people are, they're, they're very afraid of it. Yeah. And, and, and Rightly so. Right. Yeah. And, and, and the feedback I get from other realtors on that is that I can be disarming to a situation because my approach is to educate and inform. Mm -hmm. And I find that when I do that, people tend to calm down. Yeah. Um, and I don't really care. I don't tailor my, my talk to any particular, if I'm talking to a buyer, a seller, an agent, property mm -hmm. manager, inspector, HVAC person, insulation person, it doesn't really matter. I just, uh, and once I do that, people re usually rouse because they assume the worst, that it's not as bad as what they had imagined. Right. And quite frankly, in this business, I see a lot of uh, solutions that I would say are out of order. Okay. You, um, you mean as far as treating and yeah, radiation of the mold? Yeah, the, and, and yeah, because I consider 20% of what I do killing the mold, mm -hmm. maybe 10%. And, and 80 to 90% of what I do is on the front end, what's causing it? It's a puzzle to me. Uh -huh. So when I'm in a crawl space and I shine my flashlight across the vapor barrier and I see water, I'm, I'm asking, where's that coming from? Right. I'll, I'll give you an example. I just had a, a realtor not too long ago in Barstown, Kentucky, had me out and, and it was a big crawl space. In fact, we, we were able to stand up with, with plenty of room to spare. Uh, and there was more, there was water uh, on the, not only, we started looking around and I said, look at this over here in the corner, there's water. And then we noticed there was water all along. Okay. And well, he had noticed some of it, but not all yeah. to the extent. And he thought they had dug into the water table. And I work with a, a consulting engineer. And so I try to come up with the right solution. So. So what a lot of people will do in that situation, they'll want to put in a drainage system mm -hmm. um, along the, 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 the border tile and, and gravel and 
And there's nothing wrong with that, but um, that's treating from the inside out. You're just chasing the water problem. Okay. Well, that's not really the cause of it. And the, you know, after talking to the engineer, the chances of it being, he said the only way that it's coming out from the bottom is if, if you built on a uh, uh, underground spring. Okay. Which, in his opinion, was hot. Right. right. And so, what what we got out of that situation, and we got out of the crawl space, and we looked around the perimeter, mm -hmm. and. So we look to the, if you're looking at the house, to the right hand side, they're at the bottom of a hill, their neighbor's hill. So in that situation, the proper thing to do, and I talked to another engineer about that, you want to build up the land and route the water away from the house. And then we go around the other sides of the house and the water is sloping, uh, the land sloping in instead of out. So, and, and this, and I got this from the engineer too, he had a water problem. He's got a house out in, uh, in uh, Pee Wee Valley in, in uh, Kentucky. And he had a leak for a number, it, he inherited it from his mom, my grandmother, but he had a leak for, for a number of years in the basement. It was a drive-in garage. Okay. And so storage space in the basement, but kept leaking, couldn't figure it out. Well, after a number of years, he figured out the same thing that I just told you. The land was sloping in mm -hmm. instead of away. So what his solution was is to build the earth up about 12 inches high and 24 inches out and give him a 30% grade to take the water away from yeah. the house. And he has not had a problem since. And since then, I've talked to a lot of people who have employed that solution and nobody I've ever talked to uh, has, has had a leak after that. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a dump truck full of dirt and a wheelbarrow and a shovel yeah. Whereas the French or the drainage system can be, when you're when you're talking about drainage and then putting sumps in, you you could be under the forty to the fifty thousand dollar range right. real quick. Yeah. So that's why so I say you go from something that the homeowner could do himself to a situation where you actually need to hire someone to come in and dig out and put drainage lines. And in. if they do that, yeah, that's not the right solution. Anymore. Yeah. Because you're, you're still going to treat the problem. You're, yeah. You're not the cause. Yeah. And really, to be honest with you, that's something I do is the build up. I, like I said, I, I don't mind getting repeat business, but I don't want it because I didn't do my job. Right. So I want to figure out what's causing it. And then the best way to take care of that and be honest with you, you're talking about under $2,000 to do that earth build up where you're talking about thousands of dollars to do exactly. that. And when I say some solutions are out of order, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. They're treating from the inside out when most of the time it's common sense, you're treating from the outside in. Yeah. And it's not really coming up from the yeah. ground, it's coming from above. If you look at that, so it's situational awareness. And I try to just educate people on that because I see so many people doing the wrong thing and paying the wrong price and paying an exorbitant amount. And that's why I say I can be disarming to a situation when I'll go in and assess and tell them what it's really gonna cost and what would really take care of it. Is usually a lot less expensive than what they had uh, what they had thought it was going to yeah. be. So that's that's kind of what I do with yeah. people. That's neat. Yeah, it, 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 it's, yeah. Uh, with any questions you might have about mold or odors, how they're dealt with, how they get rid of them, um, and I hope you'll give Tom a call at Mold Solutions if you run into that. Um, this, what's your number, Tom? Um, five zero two 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 four two zero seven three. That's five zero two. 224-2073. If you've got an issue, you want me to come out, um, don't charge anything, give advice. Okay, great. And again, I'm Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services. Um, give me a call if you're looking for a home or if you have one you want to sell, uh, give me a call as well. Uh, it's 502-396-4969. We thank you for your time.